Good morning, ESM. On the 31st of December last year, we lost the last Golden Girl, Betty White, also known as the First Lady of Television, at the age of 99, just two weeks before her 100th birthday, after struggling from a stroke just six days before. Today, I'll be talking a bit about her life right after news and announcements. Syracuse, New York, William Bennett, age 51, has been arrested after stabbing someone several times in the mouth. He was charged with second degree assault and third degree criminal possession of a weapon. Bennett stabbed the victim on December 26 at 758 North Salina Street with a pocket knife. The victim needed stitches in the mouth and had lost some teeth. The victim and the attacker knew each other before the stabbing. A 17-year-old male from Massachusetts and a 15-year-old male from Auburn were both charged with felony, grand larceny and of the third degree and conspiracy of the sixth degree. On Saturday, the two teens stole Black Kia Soul from outside of a dog days while the owner was picking up an item inside. The Kia Soul consisted of two Dachshund dogs. The dogs were later found in crates on the side of the road in Auburn. The Kia has still not been located. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yoga Club will meet tomorrow in the library after school for our first flow of the new year. Mats will be available to borrow. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. No experience is necessary. Today, January 12th, the weight room will be open in the afternoon from 3.30 to 5 p.m. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. The Herf Jones representative will be here Wednesday, January 19th during lunch, lunches to take orders for caps and gowns. Deadline to order is January 31st. Please see Mr. Rucker in the welcome booth if you have any questions or need the graduation packet. Betty White had an entertainment career spanning eight decades, starting off doing radio shows. Eventually, she was able to get her own show, The Betty White Show, which faced controversy after having a black tap dancer, Arthur Duncan, as a regular performer. In response to people threatening to boycott the show, she responded, I'm sorry, but, you know, he stays. Live with it. She became the first woman in the United States to produce a sitcom, Life with Elizabeth, at the age of 28 while she still lived with her parents. She would go on to be a staple panelist on game shows and would appear in other television shows like Boston Legal and The Bold and the Beautiful. She's best known for her biggest roles as Sue Ann Nivens in the sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Rose Nillen on the sitcom The Golden Girls, and Elka Ostrovsky in Hot in Cleveland. I'll be sharing some of her accomplishments after weather. Today we will have a high of 36 and a low of 25. Tomorrow we will have a high of 39 and a low of 20. Friday we will have a high of 24 and a low of negative 9. And I'm Maddie with your weather. White has earned a long list of awards over her incredibly long career, earning five Primetime Emmy Awards, two Daytime Emmy Awards, including a Daytime Emmy for Life Achievement, and a Los Angeles Emmy Award. She was the only woman to win an Emmy in all perform performing comedic categories and holds the record for the longest span of time between Emmy nominations, which is 60 years from 1951 to 2014. She was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame in 1995 and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Betty White is also an honorary forest ranger awarded to her by the USDA Forest Service with Smokey the Bear and was awarded an honorary degree in white doctor's coat by Washington State University at their Veterinary Medical Association's Centennial Gala. I'll be back to close the show right after sports. Memphis Grizzlies are putting the league on notice after winning their 10th consecutive game, which was against the Warriors, 116 to 108. The team is led by young star Ja Moran, who scored 29 points in last night's game. On Monday night, a champion was crowned in college football as the Georgia Bulldogs won their first national title in 41 years, beating Alabama 33 to 18. Stetson Bennett was 17 of 26 on the night with 224 yards and two touchdowns. 
Georgia's defense played amazing. Monday night as Alabama's first touchdown came in the fourth quarter. The Syracuse men's basketball team beat Pittsburgh 77-61. Buddy Beheim led the team in points with 24. The wrestling match that was scheduled for today has been rescheduled for tomorrow. And I'm John, with you Sports. Some fans are honoring Betty White by donating $5 to a local animal shelter or rescue, celebrating her passion for animals and the unofficial Betty White Challenge on her birthday, the 17th of January. So if you were a fan or you even knew about her, it'd be nice to go out and donate if you can. And that's all I have for y'all today. So from everyone here on The Morning Show, have a wonderful Wednesday and thank you for being a friend.